Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Oxygen OS 12. OnePlus has started the rollout for the stable build, which is C.44 and I have installed it on my OnePlus 9 Pro. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing my experience with the Oxygen OS 12 and talking about some interesting features and new changes done on the Oxygen OS 12. Hi guys, I'm your host Shamit Seth and without any further ado, let's get started. Here is the OnePlus 9 Pro running the latest, well but not the greatest Oxygen OS 12. The first major change which you guys will witness in this OS is the introduction of a new colorful OnePlus shelf which is completely redesigned with colorful tiles which is more appealing to the eye if compared with the old grey shelf on the Oxygen OS 11. Swiping to the left we have the Google News feed which feels more optimized. Next, if we swipe left on the top, we have the notification panel which is similar to the Oxygen OS 11 except there is uh, increased distance between the icons. There is also a call widget added to the notification bar which appears when you are on a call. Swiping upwards, we have the redesigned app drawer which is ported from ColorOS. On the top, we have the OnePlus Scout. The icons appear slightly larger with redefined edges and shadows and this time the alphabets on the right are smaller. The layout of the OnePlus setting app has been redesigned replicating the ColorOS design. A new personalization tab has been added. When you go under display settings under screen refresh rate, now you can see high and standard modes which were earlier 60Hz and 120Hz. There is a special feature tab which has been added in which you have a bunch of special features offered by Oxygen OS. Next we have the personalization tab which is also ported from ColorOS. Here, you get a bunch of customization options. You can change your wallpaper, you can change the icon size and design, the canvas AOD has been improved. With its 2.0 update, now you can edit your silhouette, you can erase extra lines, you can change the color or add patterns. Apart from this, we can also customize our always on display. We also get a theme store and to be honest, this is the worst part of ColorOS added to the Oxygen OS. Further, you can also customize the accent color, change the font and its size. We can also customize the fingerprint animation as well as the horizon light. The next major change in the Oxygen OS 12 is the introduction of three levels of dark modes, medium, enhance and gentle. Enhance is basically pitch black, medium is a slightly darker shade of grey, just like the Oxygen OS 11 and gentle is the lighter shade of grey. If you press and hold the display, you get a menu from where you can customize transitions, layout, icons as well as wallpapers and at the top left side you get a plus button from where you can add widget and this menu has been ported from the color OS. The camera app has been given a major redesign replicating the camera app on the color OS which looks kiddish but they have kept the orange shutter, thank god and trust me this is a major disappointment for majority of OnePlus users. The Hasselblad Pro mode is renamed to Expert and Nightscape to Night. An AI enhancement feature is also added and now you can turn on or off the HDR mode. The Gallery app has been completely ported from the ColorOS with subtle changes and overall I am happy with the Gallery app. There has been a new Explore tab added to the Gallery and Private Save has also been added. The Notes app on the Oxygen OS 12 has also been changed with addition of To-Do List and overall I love this new change. The calculator has been visually updated with some color changes and the never settled text is black this time which was earlier white. The gaming app has been revamped with addition of new tools and the removal of screen record option and under performance enhancement in gaming, you also get 4D vibrations for enhancing gaming experience. This section is for all those who own a pair of OnePlus audio device. Check the card above if you wanna see the review of these OnePlus Buds Pro. A new widget has been added to the shelf which appears when you connect your audio device from where you can control the ANC settings. And also the settings page for the audio device has also been visually updated which looks similar to the Hey Melody app and there has been addition of two Dolby Atmos profiles, environmental and scenario specific profile. The battery settings have been again ported from the color OS, the graph looks more pleasing and also shows hourly battery usage and there is an addition of a battery optimization tab. The work and life mode have underwent a change. Earlier we had to switch between them manually but now there are two separate icons for them in the notification panel which makes the switching more convenient. Well, overall the user experience of the Oxygen OS 12 is very smooth with some improved haptics and a bigger and better keyboard. 
I didn't like the new camera app which is clearly ported from color OS as well as the charging animations was also changed which was better on Oxygen OS 11. And I felt that OnePlus was in a hurry to release this build, thus ruining the essence of Oxygen OS. I also missed the material you changes hoping that they will include it in the upcoming Oxygen OS 2.0. Okay guys, with that being said, we come to the end of this video. So this was my take on the Oxygen OS 12. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then do hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel for more such videos. And if you have any queries regarding the Oxygen OS 12 or you want to share something about the software, then you can feel free to ask or share in the comment section below. With that being said, this is Shamit Said signing off. Peace.